Hi, I'm Joe from Garmin. Have you ever wondered if your exercise today really made you any fitter or faster? Select Garmin devices are designed to help answer that question. In this video, we are going to talk about the aerobic training effect feature as well as the new anaerobic training effect. Keep in mind, on compatible Garmin devices, training effect features are able to function with wrist-based heart rate, but for even more accurate results, we recommend using a Garmin chest strap heart rate monitor. Just as it is for training load, EPOC is the cornerstone of the aerobic training effect feature. For more information on EPOC, watch another video in this series titled EPOC and Training Load. Have you ever noticed that when you're completely out of shape, it doesn't take very much training to see immediate improvement? On the other hand, you might have noticed that when you are fit, training at the same level makes it harder to continue seeing improvement. That's because the fitter you are, the bigger the dose of exercise is required to make progress. The aerobic training effect feature takes this into account, scaling your exercise dose to your fitness level and training habits. For example, for a person who has not been exercising regularly, a half hour run at 80% of maximum heart rate would produce an epoch of about 70, resulting in a training effect of five, which is categorized as overreaching. However, an elite level runner could complete the same half hour run at the same relative intensity while still producing an epoch of about 70. This would result in a training effect of about two, which is only maintaining for that athlete. While epoch measures the amount of training for everyone, aerobic training effect is a personalized number. It tells you based on your measured fitness and training habits whether your exercise today can be expected to improve your fitness. On compatible products, aerobic training effect is shown on the left side of the training effect screen. Values range from zero to five, with zero being no effect, and five is overreaching. You can also view this information on Garmin Connect, along with new graphs that display your training effect history. Garmin is also introducing a brand new feature designed to help you assess another important aspect of your training, anaerobic training effect. While EPOC is a convenient and scientifically valid way to measure exercise dose, the anaerobic training effect takes this one step further and determines that portion of EPOC resulting from when your anaerobic energy production systems are engaged. Look at this graph. In this example of high intensity intervals, the total energy demand is represented by the green area. In the case of the last three intervals, the total energy needed is greater than what can be supplied by aerobic sources alone. Therefore, the striped area represents a measurement of the anaerobic work done. Anaerobic training effect does not stop at merely quantifying the benefit of your hard intervals. During your exercise, the nature of your workout is carefully analyzed for the number and intensity of its intervals. That way, you can be given even more detailed feedback. For example, if you have an overall low training effect, but a few very fast intervals are detected, your anaerobic training effect may be two and will be accompanied by a message on Garmin Connect. It will indicate that your workout had a positive effect on your speed and power production, even though the overall anaerobic training effect was only a two, which is maintaining. A proper training plan should include easy days of low training effect, as well as hard days with higher training effect values. With the aerobic and anaerobic training effect features from Garmin, you'll get more insight than ever into the day-to-day -day impact of your workouts. It's just one more tool Garmin provides to help you be a fitter and faster you. For more information on the new training features being introduced, watch the other videos in this series.